<laughs> How can you stop that? Told you I never wanted to follow children or a dog act. <laughs> Close enough to let him go on first. I love him, yeah. <laughs> Whoever, who decided he was going to go on first? He did. <laughs> well, are we ready? No. Not yet. <laughs> Do you want to watch a dress rehearsal again? Yeah. <laughs> we'll I take, think... We'll uh, take it just in case. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, we're ready to go. And here it is. Dodge City, and in the territory on west, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. the violence that moved west with young America, the story of a man who moved with it, the first man they looked for and the last man they wanted to see. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. Wanted for murder. Wanted for murder. Clay Richards. Clay Richards. Age 31. Height 6 feet. Six feet. Eyes brown, hair red. Eyes brown, hair red. Hey, how'd you like me to print this picture on these notices? Got a woodcut. Well, let me show you. Ernie! Yeah? That's your marshal of copy at front page. <laughs> Interviewing Clay's wife yesterday. I noticed a tintype on the mantle. Your wedding photograph. First thing you know, <laughs> I snitched it. Very thoughtful. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll take it, Ernie. Yeah, okay, here. And, and then uh, I propped it up in front of me and carved me this woodcut. Ain't she prim? Ain't she elegant? Real elegant. Well, good likeness, don't you think? Of course, he, he was seven or eight years yeah, younger than... Yeah, it's a good likeness. When the was taken, he cuts Doesn't his show what makes a law-abiding man like him try to rob a bank. Doesn't look like a man who murdered an old cashier and a Chinese cook who just happened to be there. But it's a good likeness. Yes, sir, A picture like this sure dresses up the front page, don't it? A little masterpiece, Mr. Hightower. A notable contribution to the culture of Dodge City. Well, thank you, Marshal. Does fetch your eye, don't it? I'm, I'm printing an extra 500 copies of this weekly, and I bet I sell them all. Too bad the cashier shot went wild, though. You, if he'd managed to kill Clay or even win him, why, I, I bet I could sell a thousand extra copies. We must be thankful for the blessings we do receive, Mr. Hightower. Oh, I am, Marshal. I am. Oh, just before it happened yesterday afternoon, I, I didn't know what I was going to do to fill my column with, and then, like manna from heaven... Two murders and a bank robbery. Attempted bank robbery, Mr. Hightower. He turned and ran before he got his hands on so much as a dollar. I'm talking business. Reckon it can wait, Mr. Dillon. All right, print plays picture on these notices, Mr. Hightower. Now, where were we? Uh, eyes brown, hair red. All right, also known as red, brick top. Sorrel. Mm -hmm. He didn't answer to no other nicknames, did he? No, no, that's what they called him. All right, then in big letters, $400 reward, dead or alive. $400? And at the bottom, yeah. apply Matt Dillon, Marshall, Dodge Matt City. Dillon, Dodge City. Print 200 copies. Now, how can I, how soon can I send Chester over for them? This afternoon? Good. Good morning, Mr. Hightower. Chester, I'm coming. <clears throat> Think them circles will do any good? Richard's probably over the line into Oklahoma or Colorado, but now. 
That's probably their own horse. He's the fastest in the county. Chester, he has no money. He panicked and ran out of the bank before he got a penny. I think he'll try to get help from his wife or brother or a friend the first chance he has, maybe tonight. I say he's around here somewhere. Chester, I, I'm sorry I turned on you like that. Oh, that's all right, Mr. Dillon. Out all night with the posse, no sleep, man's bound to get touchy. No, no, it's, it, it's not that. It's just the way... But it's the way people use a thing like this. The, the men riding posse last night, they enjoyed it as though they were hunting fox or possum. Hightower back there, he acts like it was a birthday tree, specially gotten up for him. Everybody finds a way to use it. What, what did you want to tell me? Well, I, I, I got a kid, a little boy locked up in a cell. He run away from home back in Cottonwood. Ed Slade turned him over to me when he comes through on the stagecoach just now. Kid around 12 years old, I reckon. Well, who, who's is he? A widow woman's, Miss Bonnie. She runs the boarding house in Cottonwood. Ed says the kid's always running away. Pretty wild, I reckon. He flagged Ed for a ride on the road halfway between here and there, and as soon as Ed seen him standing there with his bundle on his shoulder, he knew what he was up to. So he told the kid he'd help him, and then turned him over to us when he got here. Mm. All right, we'll send a telegram to the mother to come fetch him. Chester, why don't you come in and shut the door? Mr. Dillon? Chester, you're letting in every horse fly in Kansas. Mr. Dillon, I think you better cancel the order for them circlers. What? Dutchman's coming up the street, leading his strawberry roan. Clay Richards is draped across his back. Like a sack of wheat across the saddle. Last time I saw him two days ago, he was standing at the bar laughing his head off. A sack of wheat across the saddle. And followed by half the saloon bums and loafers in town. All right, Chester. Chester, make them keep back. Yes, sir. Stand back, you fellas. Lay up. You get back. Ziegler. Ziegler. How, how did this happen? My goat. My old Billy goat. He pushes open the fence last night and runs away. All right, forget your goat. Now, what about Clay? Yeah, I tell you. This morning, I go look for the goat. I walk here, there, under the, the river. I see Clay. He sits there. I say, I don't Clay, v -Gates. You what? dirty Dutchman. You no good dog. Clay was your best friend, and he helped you buy your farm. So you killed him for the reward. Now all of you keep back. Keep back, everybody. Killed Clay? Me? No, no, my brother, he was like. We was in the war together. Better listen. Ah, you killed him for the reward. Oh, true. I killed nobody, not since Gettysburg. Clay is dead already. When I find him, I don't even own a pistol. Ziegler, Ziegler, come on inside, quick. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Marshal. Chester, here, give me a hand with the play. Now all of you, listen up. Shut up. I will not tolerate a disturbance. And you know me.